All of you, I am Pooja Singh, Faculty S A R T X Department. Today, I am going to discuss about electric heating. So, firstly, uh, the introduction of electric heating. Electric heating is a process in which electrical energy is converted into heating. And majorly, we are uh, going to see resistance heating, which is uh, pa uh, when current is passed through a conductor, the conductor become heat uh, hot, and this kinds of heating is known as resistance heating. And this is power consumed by resistance, where P is equals power. in what i is current and r is resistance in ohm so electric heating is generally uh, there are main, so many types of electrical heating like induction heating when a magnetic material is brought on the uh, on a alternating magnetic field heat is produced by the effect and this no, this heating is known as induction heating uh, electric uh, electric heating uh, second heating is uh, dielectric heating generally dielectric heating is used for heat heat the insulating material so in, uh, when insulating material was object subjected to electrical stress it it to underwent event a temperature rise and such kinds of heating is known as dielectric heating and next is electric heating so electric heating purpose is required for domestic purposes cooking room heater immersion water heater and electric toaster and industrial purpose we are using welding melting and uh, uh, tempering handling and dyeing of our object is known as electric heating that this is the basic advantage of uh, electric heating first is it it is economical clean clean pollution free easy to control uh, as we know we are uh, easily control our electric heating as compared to traditional heating uniform heating that means it produce uh, heating in every direction uniformly and uh, uh, heating uh, high efficiency as compared to traditional source of uh, electric uh, heating uh, automatic protection uh, that, uh, as we know we are using some switching device uh, switching device for uh, uh, protection purpose and heating heating of non conducting material as we are already discuss about dielectric material uh, which is uh, used to um, which is used to uh, heat uh, non conducting material like insulator and better working condition okay next what is the disadvantage of electrical heating the electric heating is uh, generally hazard of shock and fire caused by electric an issue and there are the cost associated with electric heating required large electrical service as than the normal so it produce a loss it it is very costly as uh, the cost of electricity so uh, there are main three source of uh, heat transfer first is conduction convection and radiation so what is conduction when one molecule of substance get heated and transfer the heat to other to uh, adjacent one of so so such kinds of heating is known as conduction heating like refractory heating insulating material heating etc convection heating in the mode the electric heat transfer take place from one part to another part of substance of or fluid due to the actual motion of the molecules like uh, immersion water heater so what is radi radiation radiation heating it is mode of heat transfer from the source to the substance to be heated without heating of medium in between it is depending on the surface rate of uh, heat radiation is given by stefan's law so uh, this is uh, the uh, basic diagram of uh, convection conduction and radiation method so uh, then uh, conduction method is generally we can see here and convection as well as we can see the radiation method so this is all about the basic definition and basic uh, basics about uh, electric heating thank you so much